Lara is a dedicated mum. A year ago, doctors found she had stage three wound cancer and she had surgery and aggressive radiation treatment. In late January, she was told the cancer had gone, but there's a one in three chance of it coming back and she'll need a physical examination every three months. She's still waiting though for that to happen. I just think that if it could be caught early, then I have more chance of having a longer, longer with my children. And, and I feel that by these, these now phone appointments with my oncologist, there's no, absolutely no chance that the cancer is ever going to be detected at an early stage. And therefore, potentially, my life expectancy is shortening every day that this, this um, carries on. Coronavirus has put a huge strain on cancer services. Many treatments, tests and screening were paused as staff were diverted to deal with COVID and because of safety concerns. Cancer research estimate there have been about 38,000 fewer cancer treatments in the UK since the end of March. Most clinical trials which can help extend life were halted and many people who would normally have visited a doctor with worries about cancer stayed away. Scientists at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine estimate there could be around 3,500 potentially avoidable deaths in England from the four main cancers by 2025 because of the pandemic's impact. While the Institute of Cancer Research warns delays to diagnosis and treatment for as little as two months during lockdown could lead to some cancers going from being curable to being more advanced. It's not like heart attacks or strokes where you're seeing the effects quite so immediately that with cancer and the delays, they, they'll still come along, they'll still have their surgery, but rather than being cured and having 30 years of life expectancy, there will be a proportion of people who sadly have a recurrence of their cancer due to the delay that happens in two or three years time. Medical staff delivering cancer care are trying to clear the backlog of patients but are operating in unprecedented circumstances. It's really important that, that as we focused on Covid that we mustn't let cancer become the forgotten sea. Uh, we want to see priority given to catching up with cancer services, uh, making sure that delays don't impact on patients' outcome and that we minimise the impact on uh, treatment delays. The full impact of this pandemic on diseases such as cancer won't be known for years. Lara recently found a swelling in her abdomen and is hoping she'll now get to see someone quickly for the reassurance or help she might need. Emma Haywood, Al Jazeera.